the vast majority of progressive spaces uh, don't exclude Jews. And as a result, no one writes any stories about them, just like nobody writes any stories about the planes that don't crash. Um, even though it's an incredible miracle that thousands upon thousands of airplanes take off every single day, um, no one writes a Pulitzer Prize winning story about how that happens. Only the one plane that crashes, everybody can name what that is. And that's true about Jews who encounter anti-Semitism on college campuses, Jews who find exclusion in things like the Chicago Dyke March. Um, this is definitely something that we've seen as a growing trend. Um, where I would argue, and we can get to this later, that progressive groups are not actually living up to their own stated values of things like intersectionality mm -hmm. um, and not applying their own values to Jews. Um, and then basically make the decision that Jews are all just writ large, privileged white folks um, who don't uh, experience the world uh, in much more unique and complicated ways. Um, so yeah, so I, that's, that's how I would understand it. I don't think that... Uh, I think it's important to put that, that context around it. Sometimes this gets put in a, in a very large alarmist frame. Mm 